Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, this is first question is for Mr. O'Reilly and, and Ms. Rosenworcel. Um, uh, look, uh, Chairman Pai has made a commitment to spend nine billion dollars in 5G infrastructure in rural America. Um, I support that commitment, uh, but I have concerns about FCC's ability to execute this task. Um, folks in rural America and rural Montana have waited for years for the mobility fund to get out the door, and you guys know as well as I, it never happened. Uh, and the lack of reliable cell service in our communities has a tremendous, enormous uh, public safety impacts, business impacts. In fact, as I walk in this room right now, I sit down and I said, oh gosh, I forgot my cell phone. I need to get my cell phone. If I was on the farm, who cares? Doesn't work anyway, most of the time. So your thoughts on getting that five, that $9 billion out, uh, is it possible? Uh, is it gonna happen? Uh, what can I look for as metrics to, to monitor its, uh, its occurrence? Uh, either one can go first. Thanks, uh, Senator. Listen, I share your frustrations. It was two years ago the FCC started its work on the mobility fund. This committee spent the last year reminding us that we don't have maps that tell us where service is and is not. That's true. That's For starters, true. we got to figure that out. And then we got to figure out how to deploy those funds to the right places. All I've seen today is the chairman's press release about $9 billion, but I've seen no improvements with our maps. And I think that's a problem. Okay, uh, go ahead. Well, I, I would say the chairman has made a recommendation. We'll have an NPRM, which will ask a host of What's questions. What's an NPRM? Notice a proposed rulemaking. Okay. It's the initial stage, and we'll ask all of those questions, and then what does it mean for 4G? What does it mean for those areas that don't have 4G today? And so that's something is part of our process to explore all of those issues so, before we make final decisions. And thank you both. And thank you both for your service. But, but, but I will tell you this. Um, rural America is kind of behind the curve anyway, in my opinion. And, and, and if we don't do this and do this right and do this reasonably quickly, you gotta be smart about how we spend the money so we don't wanna waste it. But if we don't do this and do it right, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it's, it's crazy that we do not have better service in rural America and we've had many hearings on this and we've talked about the fact that we're not gonna, we're gonna need government support because there's not enough people out there to do it. All I would say to you guys is, is push the chairman and if you, we need to push the chairman, come to this committee and say, look, we pushed, you need to push too, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, a previous question was talked about workforce in, in regard to um, building of towers and, uh, and, and kind of hands-on labor that would be, need to be done uh, for telecommunication tower, tower climbers and the likes. Um, and it was asked previously, and, and, and I don't know who answered it, but the question, was said, well, this is really a DOL issue, and I agree. The question is, is who's putting pressure on the DOL to make sure this is, we're getting the kind of uh, well, well-trained employees out there? I think I made that as part of my testimony, and I'll answer your question. Um, I know the DOL has just put out a new uh, re uh, announcement of funding that includes telecommunications and communications as part of its apprenticeship, apprenticeship program. So the point that Commissioner Rosenbrussel mentioned, I think they've expanded their apprenticeship program. Okay. But it's, it's more than just tower climbing, I should say. And the it, is, it, is. Uh, it, it is. It's RF tuning yeah. and sighting and communications engineering and a whole host of other skills. So can I ask, a, uh, can I ask just a request? We have a thing called a Board of Regents in Montana. They probably got one in Nevada. They probably got one in Michigan. They probably got one in Indiana. Could you, could you send out some information on what kind of workforce is needed so that those folks who oversee our tech schools, they're probably called something else now, um, can, can put out the kind of people we need? Because the truth is, is you can have all the best laid plans. If you don't have a workforce, you're done. Thank you. Uh